Hello again. Uh, welcome to PassTheCassie.com. Again, trying to help you pass the Cassie. Um, we got two examples here, and these are um, two word problems and reading the graph type problems. Uh, it's very important that when you take these types of problems, you um, take your time. Okay, there's no, no rush, right? We always want to take it slow and make sure we get the right answer instead of uh, just taking guess because it's, uh, it's a little long. But let's begin with number 78 here. On this question here, you really just want to pay attention to the graph. You know, you should always read everything, but you should know that the most important thing here is going to be the graph, and that's why I kind of made it a little bigger here so we can see it. But uh, the cost of a long-distance call charged by each of two telephone companies is shown in the graph below. So here's our graph, and it says company A is less expensive than company B for, and then here are your options. Um, the graph here tells us. Let's go take a look at this graph. Um, here's option or company A and then company B in the dashed line and you're looking for when A is less expensive than B now if you just pick any given point and that's why I have this here um, any given point say like one you take a look here and you can see that for one minute option B is more expensive than option A because option A is the solid line, option B is the dashed line. Um, and then you go to option or minute three here, and minute three is where they're exactly the same. And then um, option, say, or minute five here, here, let's get a different color here to, to denote option minute five. So there's minute five. And again, here they're the same. And at minute four and five now we have option A being more expensive than option B now I know it's more expensive because look here are the price the price is for each uh, given line here so one minute corresponds to 25 cents for option A option B here company B they charge 75 cents but over the long run it would be smarter to go with option B because say you use six minutes at six minutes here okay option B here is much less expensive even at five minutes and at four minutes five minutes here okay it's less than the dollar whereas option or company A is more than dollar. so again back to the question company A is less expensive than company B when is company A less expensive well it's not at all calls okay not all the time so let's go ahead and eliminate A it's not going to be option B because three calls three minutes only would be exactly where they're the same and we're not looking for the same we're looking for option A to be less expensive and then company B needs to be um, more expensive so where's company B right more expensive well it's only here in this little time frame so it has to be less than three minutes because at less than three minutes A is less than B and that would be your answer okay let's try another one again we're reading the graph we're reading the stuff that's important here's our 79 and again I blew up the graph so we can kind of get a better picture of it you can see it uh, so it says the graph below shows the weight of the earth to the weight of the moon uh, so earth moon pounds weight what is the approximate weight of the moon of an astronaut who weighs 120 pounds on earth so if you weigh 120 pounds on Earth, how much do you weigh on the moon? That's, that's the question. What is the approximate weight of the moon? Okay, you want to underline things that are important at 120 pounds. So we go to our graph, and I'll take this one right here. It says option, we want the weight of at 120. So we go to 120. Okay, someone that weighs 120 on Earth would weigh how much on the moon? So it would be right at that point. Now, the reason I picked here, now, I, this isn't exact either. Um, you know, it doesn't give me an exact, that doesn't say 120, but I can approximate. I can say, yeah, it's between 100 and 150. So therefore, my answer would have to be 20. All right, and that's it. Again, please visit uh, www.pastacassie.com if you'd like to see some more of these videos. And uh, good luck on your Cassie.